This is a Mini 14 NRA edition. It has a standard Ruger stock on it now. I peeled the Hogue stock off of it. It's running a TRS 25 piggybacked on top of a very value priced Weaver 2x10 scope. It's okay. It's a good scope for the money. I wouldn't want to shoot it at like 400 yards or nothing. And this is Sean the TMP here. What's up, TMP? Have you ever shot a Mini 14 before? Uh, I have a buddy that's got one. I put a few rounds through it, but not like this. So we'll see how it goes. All right, snow's getting ready to fly. Temperature's dropping. Sean the TMP here, Soldier Boy alumni. He's gonna shoot the Mini 14. His instructions are to use the, the red dot on top first. Steel plates out here. Take it away, Sean. Safety's in the trigger guard. Oh, this right thing there. So gotcha. push it forward. There you go. He's new to the gun. It's a good test. There you go. Safety on. Next target. Book it. Woo! Run and gun. Still. Stop. Five rounds. Good breath control. Mini 14. Transistor to scope. Safety on. Back to the other target. Your choice of optic. Red dot. Take a breather, safety on. What do you think between the two optics? Uh, I like the scope. <laughs> yeah, it's an unnatural cheek weld on that other it one, is. right? Yeah, having to raise up so high, I'm, I'm really floating the, the stock. It's not resting up against the cheek weld. You really got to get up there. And uh, it's kind of an unnatural position. Um, yeah, the scope is much better alignment with your eye. And honestly, being able to see the target a little bit better through the scope i think even at four power at this range i like it you're hitting good with that though yeah it, it was hitting it was hitting um i guess i just don't feel as much control i almost feel like i can go a little faster bad with guy use the red dot hit it it's getting you set safety okay stop that's good shooting uh what we what i've got this configured up for and by the way a bolt fell out so that's just like a a fix <laughs> and it's working i'm not going to throw it out just for that but what this is configured for is close range okay. so probably zero to 25 yards uh that's the theory we're testing it yeah I what would you rather that. use zero to 25 yards two power scope or that uh zero to 25 so right about where that, that stick is. Uh, I might go with the red dot. Yeah, I think the red dot. At it's gonna take five. training too, right? Cause you get optics confusion. Cause your, your tendency has come to the scope, right? Yeah, yeah. You really wanna get in there, get your face on the stock where you're used to putting it. And so, yeah, trying to figure out, and it takes a little while to find the dot when you do lift your head up. Correct. You gotta find that dot. Try, is there a way, look through this dot real quick, plant your cheek. Is there a way you can, yeah, like that. You got your chin on the stock now, don't you? Yeah. Okay, give me a couple rounds right there. Okay. Yeah, you're on it. Yeah. Uh, there's some other ways you could configure a red dot. You might, uh, I don't know, turn to the side. The yeah. problem I've had with mounting on the side is it really screws with things. Does it? Yeah, it's not. You know, it's like the holdover's different, and when you can't the gun, I, I like mounting it on top. Okay. Because I Some did purchase guys a 45 may differ. degree. What's that? I, I had purchased a 45 degree offset, and I was thinking about mounting up a red dot on my AR that would sit just above where the ejection port is, but uh, I, I couldn't quite make it work underneath the scope. It kept interfering, and right. I couldn't mount it. Putting the caps back on the scope so I don't lose them. Um, 
But that was my plan. So well, gonna... and another thing you could do is you could do a green laser, right? Yeah. So turn that, flip that stock over, and show them what I mounted on here. Yeah. So I've got a pick rail that I mounted on the on the OEM stock, spaced up with one stainless steel washer, so it's more in line with the taper. So it's I should say more in line with the bore, right here. And then you could. This is actually for a weapon light. It's what that's for. Right. But you could maybe do a, a laser on there. You'd have to spend a lot of time getting uh, aligning it. And then this really isn't that stable. This stock system. Right. So for me, it's a red dot option on the Mini 14. Yeah. This this isn't really an optic stable platform here. Right. But, but you could yards for 25 yards. Yeah. I think with a laser at 25 yards, it's just anywhere in the vicinity is good enough. Roger that. So. Yeah. Okay, a couple more rounds. Cool. Uh, red dot. Safety on. Next target. Choice of optic, whatever you want. Nice. Okay, peel that mag out. I'll take it. No, I'll take the mag. You're still shooting. Load up. That's what this is for. You should be loading right now. Oh, this, oh gosh. <laughs> Let's go, dude. You're taking rounds. <laughs> there you go. Aim a little bit low. There you go. Okay, take a knee, safety on. Come over here. See if you can hit that plate way out there at 250 yards. Dial up your magnification. Now let me help you out with your shooting position. Oh, let me see if you can hit it first. Go ahead. Good luck. Aim a little bit high. All right, let me help you out. Sit yep. your butt down. Okay. Safety on, safety on. Butt down, butt down, butt down. Turn 45 degrees to the target. Sit your butt on the dirt, on the like dirt. this. Put your butt down. Gotcha. Okay. Put both legs up. Right. Dig them into the dirt hard. Use them as shooting platforms. Okay. There you go, now create a very stable shooting position. Bring this leg up more, rest your elbow on it. Can you do that? Yeah. Make a tripod, in other words, out of your legs. Does that work? Yeah. Now breathe very, very carefully. Hold your gun further forward. That way you minimize that, that bobbing up and down. <sighs> breathe out, relax. You wanna to aim top of the plate. Hey, let me try it, you're filming. Okay. It may be the ammo too, because they mini at that distance, you have a lot of dispersion. Uh, I thought I had a couple of hits on there, but. Did you? You think may so. have, I may not have heard them. <sighs> yeah, hit. 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 Yeah, those are hits. Hit. It's hard to hear the wind. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're hitting it too. Yeah. All right, dude. That target on the right, oblique, red dot. Woo! Missy. Okay, stop. Dude, you're saying that it's uncomfortable, <laughs> but you're shooting better it's... with the red dot than you are the scope. I know. <laughs> 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 I would dial you down. That's funny. You're shooting great with it. Yeah. Okay, your choice of target. Hit it. Now, try to hold this further forward. Really yeah. bring that into your shoulder pocket. <clears throat> That'll give you more stability. Excellent. Excellent. 
Okay, kneeling, you can do the same thing. <coughs> Switch between the two targets. Uh, kneeling, you don't have to sit. Kneeling. There you go, use them neat, brand new shiny knee pads you got, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good recommendation. <laughs> Out the knee pads, review in 08. There you go. That's it. Woo! Oh. Mini 14, TMP. Ooh. Press that button hard when you wrench that mag out, okay? Should rock right out. There you go, gotcha. Ooh. Yeah. So what do you think of that gun? You know, it's it's good. It's good. I like it. Um, I mean, it was hitting well enough at, at these ranges. You know, anywhere from maybe 40 out to 100. Zero to 250, we're just shooting. That's not bad. Yeah, no, it's good. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, it's comfortable. It, yeah, it's good. It's very short overall length of that 16.1 inch barrel, yeah? Yeah, and it's pretty light, you know? Uh, it's nice, reliable. So yeah, I got no complaints. What do you think about my setup here? Is it worth keeping? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna keep it. Yeah, I like it. It, it takes a little getting used to with that red dot, but you know, like you said, it was I was hitting with it, so it's just, you it's just a little bit of discomfort, but, uh, but a little bit of getting used to and uh, you're ready to rock. I could see under some stress, you'd, uh, it'd be super easy to confuse the two optics. Yeah, if like, you're under stress, for sure. You're used to going to the scope, that's where you go. Mm -hmm. But yeah. you know, when you're shooting, from what we see out here, when we zero at 100 yards and then you shoot at 25 yards, that's a different uh, point of impact for sure. Yeah. I like the option, and this doesn't add a lot of weight to the gun. You're looking at basically, what, a two and a half ounce sight, another ounce for the mount, mm -hmm. under four ounces for that to have that on there and yeah. the trs 25 is uh super affordable good enough yeah. for this setup for sure i put a fluorescent fingernail polish on there to know when it's off so i don't run my battery out yeah yeah no, good I truck like gun huh i like it yeah and it's legal in california this gun is yeah so uh, with 10 round magazines or less of course um, <coughs> yeah for what that's worth yeah for what that's <laughs> worth is right all yeah, right this has been sean the tmp or he's going to rush out immediately and buy a mini 14 apparently i still like my ar <laughs> <laughs> ars are great i love them yeah. quick mini 14 vid see you guys later out